Hi guys, welcome to Journey to Health and Wellbeing. Happy New Year! It's 2019, it is the first day of the new year. What are some of your New Year's resolutions if you make New Year's resolutions? I know I stopped doing that a long time ago because when I promised myself that I was going to make a change, it never happened. So I don't make promises to myself anymore. I don't put pressure on myself anymore to be perfect because I know that we all tend to want to be perfect. We want to lose weight, which is the main reason we have New Year's resolutions or we want to give something up, like just say if you're a smoker or if you drink a little bit and you want to give that up or you just want to give sugar or carbs up, that's great. I mean, that's excellent to make sure that you're a better you, a newer you. But for New Year's resolutions, it's just a thing that I don't really approve of. I feel that we put too much pressure on ourselves to meet those standards. We're doing this for life. We are doing this for life. So you want to just make yourself better and newer each day. Each day we achieve something newer and better about ourselves. We find out new and exciting things about ourselves and we want to take better care of our bodies, better care of our minds, better care of everything really. Our families, we want to do a better job at being a mom, being a, a wife, being a husband we don't want to let our loved ones down maybe maybe we want to see our family more or we just want to we want to live our best life that is what it's all about it's about living your best life so don't put any pressure on yourself this year just go about just doing the best that you can because all you can do is your best just try your best just put each foot in front of the other and just just enjoy the ride the ride of life that is what I am doing um, I've been keto for it'll be two years in February and I've lost 125 pounds and I never thought that I would ever be able to lose that amount of weight. I always used to put just pressure on myself to, I always just used to put so much pressure on myself to do it and it never ever worked. Once I took that pressure off myself and I didn't think of it as a diet, it is a lifestyle change and this has been the only thing that's worked for me. Now it may not work for you, it may not work for you. It's not going to work for everyone. Everyone's going to find their own little thing that's going to work for them. I'm in Walmart at the moment on New Year's Day. Yes, New Year's Day. I uh, have to do my grocery shopping and oh, it's not too bad. It's a little bit busy, but not too bad. So I'm just gearing up the new year. One thing that I have gotten myself in for and I'm gonna do my best like I'm gonna do my best with this this past year 2018 has been extremely hard extremely hard to lose weight because with everything that I've gone through with my health and losing Charlie my fur baby who was six years old and died in my arms and my husband being 100% uh, disabled and me being a caregiver it's just, it's a lot of stress each day on me to just be like up and about and just living life. So I don't know, I, I guess I've made a promise to myself that I want to eat clean. I want to eat clean for 90 days. I'm going to be doing a 90 day eating clean challenge with Keto for Real Life People. If you would like to go over to Nancy Keto for Real Life People um, Facebook page, I will link it in the description box below. And she is doing a 90 day clean eating 
keto challenge so it starts as of today January 1st and then it will go into April 1st so I'm really hoping that I that this will help me lose the rest of my weight because I have like another 30 to 35 pounds to lose I've kind of gained a little back I have gained about seven pounds back and that's not due to the fact that I've been eating off keto because I have not been eating off keto lately I've been eating a lot of protein a lot of eggs I'm not sure why I am not losing weight and I'm not sure why I'm holding weight it could be because it was just that time of the month being holding on to so much stress I have no idea but I'm gonna try and do my my best my very best to do this clean eating which means cutting down or cutting out all artificial sweeteners it also means that uh, heavy whipping cream and anything like that is cut out um, the almond flour and just packaged stuff like this is out this is for my husband he's sort of dirty lazy low carb not keto but dirty lazy kind of um, so that's for him but I just yeah I, I just got to change something up so keto and low carb is all about changing something up and I feel like I'm ready to do this clean eating I feel like I haven't given it my all this past year with keto I feel like I've sort of just let it lapse my heart hasn't been in it I've just I guess I've just remained the same weight for quite a while now so I really want to get into clean eating also I'm doing a one month 30 day gratitude challenge so if you would like to join that gratitude challenge um, it's on my keto journey page Facebook page you can find my Facebook tab in my YouTube banner and join our group because we have free meal plans every Friday I put free meal plans they're still coming out every Friday I'm coming up trying to come up with some new ideas because I've sort of been putting them out several times I'm trying to just put stuff out <laughs> new content and stuff out it's just been tough it's just been tough lately so so yeah go and look for that and um, yeah if you're just starting if you're just starting today if you're starting keto today or low carb today please reach out to me I'll be more than happy to help you set you up um, to support you I'm here as a keto buddy if anyone needs a keto buddy and just know, don't put pressure on yourself to make New Year's resolutions. Just do the best that you can. Enjoy the time that you've got. Enjoy the time with your family. And when you lose the weight, it will happen. It won't happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight that you gained weight. It seems like that, but it's not at all. So guys, I just wanted to come on here quickly and just talk about New Year's resolutions and why they ha they don't work um what what are some of your new new year's resolutions that you've made that haven't worked for you or what are you what are you grateful for what are you thankful for for this coming year and how did you spend your new year's eve and how are you spending your new year's day new year's eve i went to i actually didn't stay up till 12 i went to bed early uh because i knew that we would be out early so Okay guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.